Mikey. Oh, we got a whole troop of people coming in. Oh my God, that's a big boa constrictor. Look at this beautiful people. These nice officers just caught this big boa constrictor. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Gotta be super careful because woo, they'll actually fly out like crazy and poop on me. Look, he actually pooped on me. Won't try to bite me. That's not nice, dude. What is going on, beautiful people? I just got a random call from the cops that a big bow constrictor was caught in front of someone's house. So I got FWC and local officers here with a probably like a 10 foot long bow. Let's see how it looks. Oh, we got a whole troop of people coming in. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Holy head. my God, that's a big bow constrictor. He's fat. Yeah, she definitely maybe had a cat or two. Oh, now I see the red. Oh my God, this person was feeding at roosters. This thing might be pregnant. For all I know. Yeah, it's huge. It's either obese or rabid. It's got babies. Look how pretty that snake is. Whoa. And it's friendly. Didn't bite. She hasn't tried to bite at all. Oh, relax, relax. Oh my god. That bow is huge. Ooh! Look at this, beautiful people. These nice officers just caught this big bow constrictor. What outside someone's house in the neighborhood it's over outside there? Outside of a trailer. Outside of a trailer, somebody's pet that probably got out, and apparently some cats have been missing too, so we probably got the culprit right here. And now this big beautiful boa constrictor is going to live the rest of its life happily here at Chandler's Wild World as an educational ambassador. Just a little lesson, you guys, make sure if you have these guys as pets, you keep them nice and secure because this is a big snake. Somebody could lose their dog or cat. Oh my goodness. I can't get over how fat that snake is. Look how beautiful this this animal is. Let's go put him inside an enclosure. You guys want to go stick him in the snake house? You want to see a king cobra? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah, come on, let's go see some crocodiles and king cobras. <laughs> So the lady whose trailer we got it from said they've been talking to each other about all the cats that are missing. So, really? <laughs> so it seems like he's been hanging out for a while just going trailer to trailer. Dude, that's a... Turn around and show those people. Look, look how big that snake is. Holy smokes. <laughs> you know, bows can get like 10, 12 feet long, so this bow still has a lot more growing to go. You guys can come on in. I got to close this door to open this door. Come on in. All right, if anything shoots by your feet, just don't move, you know? <laughs> Come on in. This is a up and coming project, so it's gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. And <laughs> That's a big boa, dude. That, that thing's a monster here. This is actually a boa in here that uh, somebody locally decided that, Somebody locally decided that uh, they couldn't take care of it anymore. So somebody, now this bow looks tiny. This bow looked big a minute ago. They're pretty good with each other. They'll, uh, that's a really pretty snake too. Like, looks like a morph. It's like some salmon bow or something. Get it. There we go. She'll crawl in there. Yeah, this bow I thought was big, but now I'm looking at it, this thing's tiny. <laughs> this bow was uh, somebody's pet that they didn't want anymore. And they decided the best thing to do is bring it over here. Bring it up the channel. Come on, right in there. Building a, an eight foot enclosure that's height wise like this, and maybe just having them all draped around doing their thing. You guys want to see a king cobra? Oh, yeah. Here, come over here to the glass. This is uh, Kevin. He's uh, a 15 foot Malaysian king cobra. It's the biggest bit of snake on the planet. Sweet baby Jesus.
cannot believe the size of that thing. Bro, that is crazy. Look how quick he just went. With, with, like a roll up pose. Then we got black mambas, we got rattlesnakes all around. All right, guys, I'm taking the bow constrictor out because there's a news reporter coming to do an interview about this snake being in someone's yard. And it turns out she's actually not tame. She's super defensive. Oh my goodness, look at her. What's up? I see you. You're very upset. You're very upset. I can totally see you're not. We're definitely not using you for the interview to hold you. We're just going to, oh, we're just going to be looking at you, baby. I'm sorry. You're so cranky. What's up? Oh, they're going to love you. Good thing you're here now. I don't think uh, you would have made a great pet. <laughs> Ooh, you're cranky. Ooh, it was a success. We got this big bow constrictor out of a neighborhood, FWC, and a local wildlife people working together to make sure this animal got a good, beautiful home. So in the next couple months, we'll be building this bow constrictor, a nice tall enclosure. I'm thinking maybe this corner of the room, we can turn this whole thing into an enclosure, make it tall with like a nice big branch for it to climb on and have a couple bows in there. That'll be amazing. So we'll do that probably next year because there's lots of projects to start working on. While we're in the snake room, let's get to some cleaning. It's been a while since we've cleaned some snake cages together. King Tup, my Egyptian cobra, is getting bigger and bigger and he went through another shed and also went to the bathroom all over the place. So let's take him out. He's looking cute. Look at him, he's huge. What's up, dude? What is up? Let's get his hide out real quick. Just like that. You can see his skin as long as can be. If I stretch that out, it'll probably come out to around eight feet long. Come here. Come here. Oh, I see you. You're very upset. Come here. King Tut, being an Egyptian cobra, he is the second largest cobra in Africa. Woo hoo hoo! Gotta be super careful because whoo, he'll actually fly out like crazy and poop on me. Look, he actually pooped on me while trying to bite me. That's not nice, dude. Woo. Look at him, he's got a beautiful hood. This is the same snake believed to be used by Cleopatra for suicide. So it's a very intense snake. And being a cobra from Africa, they have cardiotoxins and cytotoxins, more toxic than something from Asia, like a, like a monocled cobra. Woo, you're not gonna be a good snake today, are you? All right, let's get this big fat boy right into the can. Nice and easy. What are you doing, dude? Can you go back in there? No, oh, come on. Nice and easy, nice and easy. that African curry right there, baby. Oh, I need, a, I need to wash my hands after that. So, lots of shed, there's more shed in here. Lots to be taken care of. But what's really cool about the cobras right now, check this out. I told you guys that I got Marshmallow, the Indian cobra from Tyler Nolan. She's a female. We put her with my Indian cobra, and I actually got footage of them trying to mate last night. Ooh, look at this. I just came in and turned off the lights and caught the Indian cobras trying to lock up. This is awesome news. That's my male Indian Cobra with Marshmallow, Tyler Nolan's Indian Cobra. Yes, this is great news. Baby Indian Cobras, fingers crossed. Woo, so that's pretty good stuff. I'm gonna take out that shed in a second, clean them up. Let me just take care of King Tut and I'll see you guys in a split. All right, the enclosure's nice and clean. Let's get King Tut back into his exhibit. Let's see, Ooh, look at King Tut. This is why you always use a tool to help you take off the lid of a container like this, especially if you can't see inside. Dude, what's up? You're so cranky. You see, he is a beast of a snake. He just wants to be left alone at the end of the day. Because he's an African snake, the African snakes are super defensive. Everything out there is trying to eat them or stomp on them in defense. Because nobody likes a venomous snake out in Africa. All the wildlife, you know, to stay away from snakes like this or stomp it out. Lots of big hoof stock. I would be very aggressive and noisy too if I had elephants stomping around me. Want to go right back in there? And he's going to need an upgrade soon because he's getting massive. His parents were so big. Mock this up. Nice and secure. Good to go. Let's see how Marshmallow and the other Indian Cobra is doing. They're hanging out together. Ooh, what's going on? We've got to be super gentle because like I said, they're mating. We don't want to upset them too much. Come here. This is my big male. Looking beautiful. Look at that. That is a beast of an Indian Cobra, looking good. Call it a Spectacle Cobra too, because the spectacles on the back of that hood. Put them right in there, no worries. And then we got a little Marshmallow. What's going on, Marshmallow? She's a much smaller female, but she's just about old enough. Ooh, hoo, hoo, just about old enough to be paired up. Ooh, look at that hood, that hood is awesome. That is such a beautiful snake. Marshmallow, great looking animal. Don't want to stress her out though, because like I said, they're getting hooked up together. Look at that. 
can of Indian covers. How cool is that? What's going on, guys? You guys been made? You gonna make some babies? I can't wait for baby Indian covers. That's gonna be so cool. And then we got the shed looking good, almost a whole shed. Toss that out. We're good to go. We can get these beautiful Indian covers back to their enclosure. Look how pretty they are. Look at those hoods. Such good looking snakes. Let's get Marshmallow out. She's right there. Be nice and gentle with the new mama. Nice and easy. Look at that. That is a smoking cobra. They're gonna make such beautiful babies one day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Right into there. There we go. And then of course, big boy. Come here, big boy. Come here. Ooh, look at you. You're gonna be a dad. Keep doing good work, buddy. Let's get him right into there. Watch your mouth. There you go. Nice and easy. All right, let's get this closed up. Get it nice and secure. Locked and secure. All right, so we're good to go. Now, let's deal with a, a snake that we love so much. So the Ethiopian Cobra, Skittles. This snake is probably one of the most cantankerous snakes in the room, right next to King Tut and Justina the King Cobra, because Skittles just never likes to relax. Skittles is a very defensive snake, and other African species. Actually, technically, this is like an Egyptian cobra, but they call this the Ethiopian cobra. It's drastically different with the coloration, and it's from Ethiopia, having this beautiful reddish coloration and almost like a purple to it. All right, so nice and easy, Skittles. Let's not be too crazy today. Ooh, Skittles. Let me just get you out. Nice and easy, Skittles. Nice and easy. Look at that. that is a beautiful cobra. How cool is this snake? Let's see. How you doing, Skittles? She's looking good. She's always getting big. She came out of shed not too long ago. Woo! Look at that. She's got like a beige coloration with red, purple. Woo -hoo -hoo. That is an awesome looking snake. Definitely a snake I got a lot of respect for and would not want to take a bite from. All the African snakes have a deadly concoction of venom right into there. Nice and easy. Woo! Secure. All right, it's good. <laughs> Let's uh, see what we got going on in here. Got a couple little spicy meatballs. I think I'm gonna a little spice to keep it nice, and I'm gonna get it nice and clean. Get a nice fresh water in there, and we'll put it back in a second. Looks good, we got it nice and clean. Let's get this beautiful snake right back to where she belongs. She's actually being really chill compared to how she usually is. Even though right now she is hooding like crazy, trying to find anything to bite. This snake is actually being, this snake is actually being very well behaved. Ooh, <laughs> it doesn't like uh, my camera operator, huh? Oh, a little bit crazy. All right, but she's not being too bad. Like I said, usually she's all over the place, so she's being great today. Look at that beautiful snake. All she wants to do is get away. There you go. And let's get a lock on that. Nice and secure, good to go. Next, let's deal with Tarsio Bello, the fertile ants most responsible for bites throughout Central and South America. From Costa Rica, one of my favorites. Jose, the fertile ants actually just came out of shed, so I gotta pull out that shed. He's looking beautiful. Let's see. Let's see how he's doing today. It's always a little bit sketchy opening up this cage because he has extra insulation in his enclosure to make sure there's no gaps for escape. Let's see. Nice and easy, my friend. Nice and easy. I see you. I see you. Ooh, and wow. I wish you guys could feel his scales, but you can't, obviously. His scales have become keeled. When I first got him, he was a little bit of a, a smooth texture, but over time, his scales have become a rough, keeled feeling. How cool is that? Get him right into there. You guys can get a good look at him while I pull out that skin. That is such an amazing snake. Also called the lance head, because it looks like they got an arrow-shaped head. And I'll tell you what, when they strike, it's like a dart. Look at that big shed. Looking good. Get out all the little spicy meatballs, because we don't want any spice that's not nice. Nice and easy, just get all that out, no problem. And then get a nice cup of fresh water for the fertile ants because they come from Central and South America, nice pristine rainforest, great fresh water to drink all the time. So let's give them the best. There we go. Get all this out of the way and let's get Mr. Jose back into his enclosure. What are you doing, buddy? Ooh, look at that. And it's crazy to think, ooh, it's okay. It's crazy to think he is a small fertile ant right now. He will become massive one day. Look at him, he's just, ooh, he's just looking around. He's not being defensive, he's just being curious right now. 
using his forked tongue to sniff out the air, see what's going on. All right, let's put him back. The less handling with this snake, the less dangerous. Let's get him right into there. Come on. Oh, I actually forgot your hide. I'm sorry. Let me put your hide back in there too. Get the glass on as safe as possible using the glass as a shield. There we go. Nice and secure. Get a lock on that and secure. Good to go. And I, oh, I got my FWC book right here with all my information for FW when they come and do their inspections. Just passed by inspection recently. Got a good inspection. And I got a gift from the local police and FWC, that big, beautiful bow. I say it's it's a good turn of events. Nothing but good stuff coming. Just positive vibes, beautiful people. Follow your dreams. Do what you love in life because everything will fall into place. I'll tell you what. Every day, something crazy random happens, and I didn't think that would even be possible. Like, my dreams as a little kid, they're always coming true. So just follow your dreams. Do what you love, and everything will fall into place. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. actually fly out like crazy and poop on me. Look, he actually pooped on me while trying to bite me. That's not nice, dude. <laughs>